What are early signs of an abusive partner? If it's never their fault. They don't respect your boundaries. Make it difficult for you to meet, connect, spend time with family or friends. If you love me you'll do, blank, for me. Threatening to break up with you after every argument. Gaslighting. Somehow, everything is always your fault and never theirs, and they'll beat you so much with their version of the truth, you start to believe it. They will belittle your argument or dismiss it. Gets angry and offended when confronted about their own issues and gaslights you into saying sorry or that it is you who has to do better in the end. They will find ways to separate you from friends and loved ones. When everything you do, they always make it sound like nothing important. Downgrading it, belittling, anything of the sort. Having to ask a question to yourself like this. If you don't trust them it's probably not worth being an emo. If they behave badly towards the people they feel most comfortable with, parents, siblings, close friends. They may be an absolute angel with you now that you're still in the beginning, but when they get comfortable with you too, they'll treat you the same. Controlling behavior always assuming control, and undermining your ability to do anything yourself. Controlling, demeaning, knocks you down, talks badly about everyone in your life, doesn't respect you. It isn't fixable and it will get worse. Manipulation. One thing I found with someone's relationship, someone I care about, was that she's with him because she's afraid of what will happen to him if she leaves. So things like, I won't ever find anyone else if you leave me, and, I'll be depressed, etc etc. If they are making you feel guilty for leaving, that's not a good relationship. When every ex is crazy. Look what you made me do. When they show no pity or remorse for something they did that hurt you. Massive red flag. Lying. Blaming you for random things. Causing arguments. Small acts of violence. Physical or mental. Threats of violence or name calling etc. Limiting contact with family and friends. Belittling you or your opinions. Saying they're right even if they're not. Trying to control what you do or where you go. Manipulating. Changing emotions fast like being angry and then trying to make you feel sorry for something or apologizing randomly but not really acting any different later. These to name a few, but obviously it depends on the person. Love bombing. Jealousy. Wanting to know your constant whereabouts. Begin isolating you from friends. How do you cope with all of the terrible things going on in the world? You can't change or influence most things. Try to be a good person whilst acknowledging, learning about and appreciating the problems in the world. You're not obliged to get personally invested and drawn into all the bad events, whether that be abroad, nationally and your personal life, going on. It's perfectly fine to put yourself first but have empathy for others. Turn off the radio, TV, and phone for a day every few days. Also, I never watch the local news, it's just shit. Basically, you have to detach yourself emotionally from those types of things that are not affecting you, or people you know about. You can be supportive of people going through a bad time, but ultimately, it's not your emotional baggage to handle. You can't save the whole world, nor can you take care of the people you love if you always attach yourself to things not of your concern. Try to do things I find personally fulfilling. Otherwise overthink it. Mashed potatoes. All negative vibes wash away with a good plate of mashed potatoes. And fried chicken. Turning off the news and deleting social media. It's just rage porn. It condenses all the shit of the world and tells you who to be mad at for it, while people profit off the gullibility of idiots. Reddit is good for this. Just never go to r all. Unsub from all default subreddits, and curate your own experience to be a positive one. Live in real life. Walk in the park, go visit a local small restaurant, and hug your family. The world isn't as bad as you think. Take time to appreciate it. Video games and YouTube. Look, yes lots of shit ain't right. Some of it downright bad. Lots of good too though. No profit in promoting that. Rage porn much better at keeping eyeballs. Some facts. The following have never been lower globally. Poverty illiteracy child mortality war famine. Those are some real ducking problems the world has been dealing with since fucking agriculture. Probably before. And they are all getting better. Like for real there is some shit we have to address. But modernity has done some good shit for the world. It isn't all doom and gloom. Is the world perfect? No ducking way. See even autocorrect still fucks up my shit. But is the world measurable better for a lot of people? Yup. It is. Things that work for me. Less overall screen time or none for a day. Quality time with loved ones. Pet. Play with my dog. Working out. Indulging in cannabinoids. 
watching less violence, gore, sexually explicit content in film, TV, and video footage. About 95% less for me nowadays. Focusing on breathing and staying in the present moment. The past can be depressing and the future can cause more anxiety. Stay in the now. Self-reflect, meditate. Solfeggio tones. Creating a new project or learn a new hobby. Content on self-improvement. Remembering I am what I consume and I refuse to conform to the fearfulness that these terrible things create. I work out a lot. I'm able to use exercise to burn off my anger and turn it into something good. It doesn't matter what you look like. What matters is how it makes you feel once you look back at what you were able to do. Think about it this way. Even if it's a small walk up and down your street, it's better than nothing. The fresh air is also a plus if you do it outside. I don't think about them. You can't make life better for everyone. Making life better for yourself and those around you is taxing enough slightly smiling face. Realize that there have been the same things going on for centuries and have a nice day. Writing. It's the only thing I have found that had given me an outlet. Just writing all the thoughts, no matter how intense the rage. It gets it out. As unpopular as it is on Reddit, my faith helps me cope with all the terrible things going on and inspires me to be better and help others. Weed. I just focus only on what I can control and take it day by day. I concentrate on my own life. I kinda just don't. Edit. A lot of you guys are commenting about how it's better to not ignore it, and to an extent it is. However there's a lot going on in the world and in our personal lives that sometimes it's too much. I don't judge people for ignoring issues, I used to as well. However now I'm dealing with personal issues that started earlier in the year. I can't afford to cope or ignore them, so I just don't now. I don't ignore world issues but I understand that the world will always be a mess. Maybe someday it won't be, but for now it is. Anime, music, friends. It's really not that bad. Study history and realize that the world has been far worse for as long as humanity has been here and that we are really at the peak of forward progress, so far. 